Jaarlijks wordt in Amsterdam de Pride Photo Award uitgereikt aan de fotograaf die seksuele diversiteit en genderdiversiteit op een bijzondere manier in beeld heeft gebracht. Uit ruim 3600 inzendingen koos de jury één foto uit. Seksuele identiteit, genderdiversiteit of andersom, identiteit en diversiteit maakt niet zoveel uit. In ieder geval gaat het over wie je bent en in alle verscheidenheid. En dat maakt het anders. En we brengen de conviction dat we een wonderful initiatief hebben dat celebrates life. Maar die jury, dat is iets, dat zijn echt mensen, fotoredacteuren, editors van gerenommeerde kranten, bladen, all over the world. En hoe het kan, maar het kan en het gebeurt, die krijgen we één keer per jaar altijd weer bij elkaar om die enorme hoeveelheid foto's te beoordelen. Image for image. So I find it quite extraordinary to be able to see uh, and have access to so many images coming from such a diverse group of LGBT people from all over the world. There was one image was taken as the overall winner and that was the Turkish photographer. Dit is eigenlijk meer een nieuwsfoto, een journalistieke foto. Maar de inhoud is zo belangrijk. En het beeld van die jonge vrouw. En die staat daar gewoon best wel vermoeid en een beetje met de blik op oneindig. Een sigaret te roken. In het Turkije van Erdogan. Die allemaal dingen heeft bedacht voor vrouwen wat ze wel en niet moeten doen. Midden in Istanbul. Op, met een gay pride die verboden is. Omdat werd gezegd voor jullie veiligheid. Ja, my ass. I took this photo uh, on the... Uh... The previous uh, gay pride in Istanbul in uh, 2016. There was a chaos because it was blocked by the police and the government. But although blocking, individuals uh, try to march because they don't uh, want to surrender. Well, uh, the series is called Polarity. And it's about androgyny and the two polarities, female and male, or feminine and masculine, put in one person together. Some of them are friends of mine, so I asked them, would you be interested to make an experiment and to try to split you into genders? So at first I was taking picture of the person as they are and on the other side in the other gender. So male, for example, at first we took the male picture and then the female and so we were working around, joking around, and then did the, the process, yeah. So that's how it came out. It's called You As Me. It's a performative series of self-portraits where I ask other people to send in for me. So as you can see, it's like, it's like I'm just having a dialogue with you. I ask you to play me in front of the camera. And as it goes on, it gets more interesting as you involve different people taking taking part in the project. It's not always about these people who are close to you or these people you love or you, you like. There's also another layer to it when you include people you don't really like or people that revolt you in a certain way. So it gives out this other reality to it, this other layer. This is a photo series about Melanie and her family. Uh, Melanie is a transgender uh, male to, uh, to female. I have met one years ago, so this is a series about uh, her stories and about how a family uh, supported her in the way to be a woman. I think yeah, it has an impact globally and we shouldn't underestimate it. It doesn't matter that everybody cannot come here, but nowadays because of the internet, people are aware that it's happening here. So they see the pictures, which is great. They can submit their work to be shown here. That's very good. But they can also show, take the exhibition there. Like they were saying, they took it to Tokyo. But they could also take it to other countries. We want also that this tentoonstelling goes reizen and on places comes and in lands uh, where people think that they don't want it or have to have that you think that your head goes off. That I would like very much. Wil je de foto's zelf gaan bewonderen? Dan kun je de Pride Photo Award tentoonstelling nog tot en met zondag 16 oktober bezoeken in de Oude Kerk in Amsterdam.